Hello everyone, Namaskar. Welcome to Pi Square Academy. This is Bulbul Sharma and today's topic is why testing on electric motors. To know more such why questions like why 50 hertz, why 11 kV, do check the link in the description below. Pi Square Academy has also launched full courses. For that also you can check the link in the description below. Those who are new to the channel, do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified from Pi Square Academy. Now, coming to our questions. Why testing on electric motors? This is a pen. I want to check the strength of this pen. So, I'll try applying force on it by my hands and then boom that is how I check the strength of this pen now like take the example of students since you people are students there are different kinds of students like if there is a class of 50 people 10 are good at studies 10 are good at co-curricular activities, 10 are good at nuisance activities. So there are different kinds of students. Even they are better at different kinds of subjects. Why do we do exams then? We want to check the performance of the students in different subject. Who is better at maths? Who is better at science? Who is better at English? That can be checked only if we test them only if we test them and that is why we do the testing of electric motors to know the performance of the electric motors in the same way as we test the students like what they are better at so now what do you understand by performance Efficiency. In every field, we check the efficiency of the thing. What is meant by efficiency? Efficiency is meant how much output you are getting by giving how much input. So, efficiency is output by input. Now, how much output we are getting by giving how much input? That is the performance of anything we see. So that is what we want to test for an electric motor to know its performance or the efficiency. Now, if I am trying to say about the efficiency of a motor, it is output by input. Input of an electric motor can be said as by using the V into I or simply using the voltmeter and the ammeter in a given circuit to calculate the input. As I said, efficiency is output by input. So this is the input. Now how I will calculate the output? Output of an electric motor depends on its torque or the formula I can say is power equals to omega into T where omega is the speed of the given motor. Now speed you can calculate by using tachometer. Right? RPM, tachometer and torque. 
comes the factor torque. How can we calculate the torque? You can see here the diagram I have chosen is I am having a pulley of radius r, two weights w1 and w2. How can I calculate the force on it or torque on it? Torque equals to force into radius of the pulley. Force equals to what? In physics everyone has read force equals to mass into acceleration. Now what is this mass into acceleration in this case is the total weight sorry the total weight into acceleration here is the gravity into r gravity. Now this total weight I can say as w1 minus w2 why there is a pulley two weights over it. When the pulley is rotating this direction then W1 is getting pulled and W2 is getting upwards. So the total weight on the pulley is W1 minus W2 into G into R. So now that you are getting the torque out of this you can calculate the power at any load. So if you know the output power at any load, you can simply put output by input equals to the efficiency of the electric motor at any load. So this is how you are calculating the efficiency of the electric motor. Now you are giving some input, you are getting some output and you are using that output for something. Then the output is getting used or the energy that motor is converting like motor is taking electrical energy, it is giving mechanical output. Now this mechanical output is getting used somewhere. But here in this case, since we are not using it anywhere, where will the energy going? It will be converting into heat energy. And once it is getting converted into heat energy, you need to cool it down using water as a coolant. Once you are cooling it using the water, then in case of 1 HP or 2 HP motor, it may be for a short period you can cool it down. But when you are going for a higher rating like 10 HP or something, you cannot cool it down because there will be more amount of heat energy and that is the drawback of testing of a DC motor. Sorry, an electric motor, not even DC motor. We can do this tests on any motor. So that is the drawback of testing of any electric motor. So this is all about the brake test or direct loading test of an electric motor. We drawing a conclusion I can say we can draw, we can do the testing of an electric motor to know its efficiency and performance at any load using direct loading method or as I showed you the pen by directly applying the load and it is known as brake test. It's not B-R-E-A-K but it is B-R-A-K-E -E, brake test. Applying brake on this pulley. So that is all about today's topic. Now, if you really like this video, do like, comment and share. And those who are new to the channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified from Pi Square Academy. Thank you.